Today I've got some magic for you. Well, it's masking magic. Welcome back, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I've got a very easy mask scene today using the Voices from My Head accessories set. What I did was actually stamp out the little scene that I was going to create first on some copy paper and this just helps me work out which images I need to stamp first. So when you look at an image, if you're going to stamp multiple images, the image that is at the very front is the one that you need to stamp first and the one that you need to mask. So I've already stamped and cut out the masks. I did use the masking magic, I'm giving that a try at the moment from Gina Kay and it's a nice sort of um, thin masking paper but slightly shiny and I was a bit worried about how it was going to go with the ink on it. I used the tuxedo black and I was a bit worried it might smudge but it didn't not when I was cutting it, it didn't smudge when I even rubbed my finger across it. It was really surprising actually. So you may have noticed I'm adding my masks after I do my stamping. All the images, I'm basically working from the front to the back. So as I stamp the image, then I apply the mask and then I can stamp the image that's going to be behind. I've left all my original masks in place and that way the images that are right at the very back, like this glass of wine here is going to look like it's at the back because when I remove the masks it'll be behind them. Now I'm just eyeballing this. I'm working on a piece of Nina cardstock. It's an 80 pound and I roughly knew that I wanted it in the center of a card but I was a bit worried if I just stamped on the front of a card I wouldn't exactly get it center. I don't like to see my Copic markers color through the inside of my card so I often find it's just easier to work on a separate piece of cardstock. So I can remove my masks now and I have my little scene. Now I do want to make sure that it is going to be centered on my card so I have an A2 window cheat sheet here and I can just lay that on top make sure the image is exactly where I want it to be make a tick mark and then I can cut it away on my trimmer. All right, now for some really simple, what I like to call messy Copic colouring. Literally making it uh, look like it's meant to be messy, <laughs> but not too messy. I am just doing a wash of colour on each of the glasses. I did come in on some of the glasses, actually I think nearly all of them I came in with a second or a third colour and added a bit of depth but made that look a bit messy as well. So really easy and fun way to add some colour to your images, especially a, a sketchy image like these glasses. Because this is actually an accessory set that goes with the Voices in My Head stamp set by Julie and this is part of a release that's happening with the Essentials by Alan, it's the mini voices in my head, the voices in my head volume 3 and this accessory set. So all really fun stamp sets and beautifully jewelry <laughs> is all I could say. And I wanted to sort of stretch these stamps a little bit and have a bit of fun with them. And I have another card that I've shared at my blog as well as all the links to the hop. So head on over there so you can see that and then hop along and see what else everyone has created because there's always heaps of inspiration at Ellen Hudson. All right, so I've got my little window back again now because I want to work out where my sentiment's going to be. And this is from the volume three set. And I just stamped it on some scrap paper, cut it out, and then I can move it around on the front of my, what is going to be my card front, <laughs> and get the placement that I want. And I'm stamping it out with some obsidian black ink. And then I can actually attach this to the front of my card. See, I don't like that Copic colour showing through. It's not pretty. <laughs> And that's my finished card. Thanks so much for joining me. If you like the video, please click on the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, it'd be great if you could subscribe to my channel. I always appreciate every visit you make here and every comment. I read every single one of them. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.